hello everybody today we're gonna film a video about festival hacks that you need to know hi guys <laughs> today we are going to film five festival hacks that you most definitely need to know the first hack I have for you guys is to get a bamboo rug for under your canopy it sounds crazy it sounds super extra but it's really not it's going to change your experience forever and it's going to make the ground more comfortable but still feel like you're walking on nature and you're still camping but you don't have the grass to walk on you have a bamboo rug I'll put an example down below in the description that I found on Amazon and they're really really cheap and will change your camping festival experience forever. The second hack I have for you guys is more aimed towards beginner ravers. What are you doing baby? You're looking outside the window. You're so cute. This is aimed more towards the beginner ravers out there. Before you get to the festival, don't get super distracted with everything that the festival has to offer. Go straight towards the hydration refill hydration refill station. <laughs> ah! Go right to the refill stations and fill up your hydration pack. It can be very easy to get distracted and go right towards the stage or right towards meeting up with friends or going to a spot that you saw on the map and you want to go see it right away before people go to it or whatever you want don't get distracted definitely go straight to the refill station right when you get to the festival the third hack i have for you guys is a must when going to festivals always pack more than you think you never know what the weather is going to be like and you could check the weather 24 hours even 12 hours before the festival and before you know it the whole weather changes and you're really prepared for hot nice sunny weather and then it comes out of nowhere that it's raining cold and it can get down to temperatures that can make you really really cold so always pack an outfit for like sunny hot weather and don't forget to bring something extra like sweatpants some kind of pants um, a jersey a pullover a jacket whatever you prefer I would honestly check the weather 48 hours 24 12 and a couple hours before you head to the raid the fourth tip i have for you guys is to take at least half an hour or if you're like me and love capturing all of the memories you could possibly think of even if it's something really silly or really small give yourself about half an hour to an hour to capture some memories before you head to the rave get pictures of the rave family a selfie take a picture of your hotel room your campsite take a picture of the stage from your campsite take a picture of your outfit of your tent setup anything you can think of ask your neighbors if they want to take a picture take about half an hour to an hour or however much time you need to capture some memories that you will never forget when you get to the festival you forget about taking pictures and gathering memories and taking videos whatever you like to do you instantly forget and you get super excited that you're there and you just want to enjoy the moment so give yourself the extra time to capture the memories trust me you won't regret it when you look back on all those beautiful memories that you created and you're like oh my god that is so cute I'm so happy that I captured that okay so for the fifth and final hack that I have for you guys it is in honor of EDC Las Vegas I am so sad that I'm not going this year because I wasn't able to go last year. I was going to go this year, but unfortunately it had to be rescheduled because of everything going on. And they rescheduled it the same exact time as Wakan Festival. And I'm sorry, I can't miss my Wakan fam. I can't miss it. There's no way I could miss Wakan Festival. So I had to refund my tickets 
But on a positive note, the goal for this year, if everything goes as planned, is Lost Lands B2B Wakan Fest. <laughs> I am overjoyed if that happens. I can be with my headbangers all weekend long and then head over to a con festival and and be with my Wakan family like sounds like a dream. Sounds like a beautiful beautiful dream that I hope comes true. But this is the final hack. I recommend bringing a disposable camera and this isn't really just aimed towards EDC of course. This can be aimed towards any festival, even a show or even if you go out with friends like you go hiking or you're just like hanging out at home. Get a disposable camera. I never get over the look of like that nostalgic feeling of film and then turning in the film and getting your pictures. It's really the best feeling and I most definitely recommend it. And you're going to see that every festival after that, you're going to have a disposable camera in your hydration bag. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Okay! <laughs>